New Black Panther photos and plot details have emerged. The Entertainment Weekly Comic Con issue dropped this week, and we are getting fresh new looks at the Wakandan King. Now, while we're still ways away from the film's February 2018 release, that isn't stopping old fans and new fans alike from maintaining healthy levels of excitement about T'Challa's first solo film adventure. In the EW feature, we got 20 images that, honestly, would take more than just one video to really get into. So for now, we're merely going to graze the surface of this treasure trove and highlight some specifics that we noticed. In the fancy South Korean casino scene that was teased in the trailer, T'Challa, Nakia, and Okoye stand watch over an interaction between black market arms dealer Ulysses Claw and Everett K. Ross. Now we know from the trailer that this scene turns into a big action sequence, so we're wondering if T'Challa and Ross are either crashing a secret meetup Claw was planning with another baddie, or if it was a plan and meet between Ross and Claw that goes south. Either way, the costumes and Lux vibe in these shots are truly stunning, and we are psyched to see all of the awesome cosplay that this film will inspire. Now, another image that caught our eye was Everett K. Ross wrapped in Wakandan traditional textiles, conferring with T'Challa's sister and mom, Shuri, and Ramonda, along with Wakandan covert operative Nakia. Now, we know from the comics that Ross serves as a government attaché to T'Challa, accompanying him on his missions as his right-hand man. But we're intrigued that he's in this deep with the Wakandan royal family, so it looks like we'll see him not only earn their trust in this film, but be actively involved in some of their secretive internal politics. And of course, there's that banger of a family portrait, which far surpasses any family portrait you took at Sears. <laughs> Now this photo is so packed with juicy deets that EW had to create a separate write-up to dive into it further. Briefly, the royal family stands in the Hall of Kings, with the Queen Mother Ramonda supportively flanking her son. Now we're hoping that this royal family's fate will not parallel that of another ill-fated Queen Mother. Yes, we're talking about you, Cersei. Oh, the shade. But it seems that T'Challa and Ramonda's mother-son dynamic will be a bit more harmonious, with her advising T'Challa on what his father might or might not do and on his love life. So yeah, typical queen mother stuff, just shy of Cersei levels. Also of note in this photo, Nakia has some cool ring blades and sister Shuri sports some of the super advanced weaponry that she's invented. But it wasn't just the photos that offered an intriguing glimpse into the upcoming film. The attached article also featured some clues about what to expect from Black Panther's first solo flick, including a quote from producer Nate Moore in which he describes the movie as a cross between James Bond and The Godfather, a big operatic family drama centered on a world of international espionage. Now that's a pretty interesting DNA makeup and has us wondering how the two parts will mix in the final film. From the photos and the already released plot details, it's becoming more and more clear that, just like Michael in The Godfather, T'Challa will spend the movie trying to protect his family's interests from enemies both inside and outside of his personal circle. Now the big difference being that he has to defend the entire nation of Wakanda, not just one East Coast crime syndicate, and that need to protect his people is what will eventually bleed into the more Bond-like aspects of the film. Now the trailer released last month opened with the scene of Claw telling Everett K. Ross about Wakanda's true identity as a technologically advanced nation. Obviously, that is a secret that T'Challa and the rest of Wakanda will want to keep hidden, and the danger that it might get revealed to the larger world is probably what the plot is going to revolve around. Now, we're expecting a story that has Black Panther getting his 007 on as he does a little globetrotting to figure out who knows what about Wakanda and silence them before they can put the entire country on blast. And naturally, we wouldn't be surprised if his mission takes him all the way back home to discover there's a rat in his ranks. If T'Challa really really is the Michael of this story, you know there has to be a Fredo, a Wakandan ally secretly making deals with outsiders to increase their own power. Now the obvious choice would be Killmonger, but in the comics he's typically seen trying to rid Wakanda of all colonial influences, so it's hard to imagine that he'd be the one to ally with anyone beyond his borders. So there could definitely be a third act twist coming about who's conspiring against Wakanda. But Black Panther is still a long way off and there is still a ton to learn, so who knows what we'll get when the final film arrives. All we know is that for sure we are stoked! But what about you folks? How excited are you for Black Panther? And is there anything we missed from those EW picks? Let's discuss. Now be sure to watch our live weekly show, Mothership. We team up with our friends over at Geek & Sundry to round up the best videos on the internet, do giveaways with the fans, and compete in wacky stunts. Generally speaking, it's a pretty okay show. You can check it out every Thursday at 5.30pm PDT on Nerdist's YouTube, Geek & Sundry's Twitch, or ProjectAlpha.com.